My name is Diane Sears and I am a National Marketing Director with the Juice Plus Company. I want to welcome you tonight to our fourth episode in the series of Powerful Women in Juice Plus. Tonight we will hear from one of the originals. Jennifer Myers and her husband Sean started their Juice Plus business just after college at the University of Kansas almost 30 years ago. They have created an amazing business with the Juice Plus company and their business has created an amazing and adventurous life for them and for their family. I think they are great examples of a work hard, play hard mindset. They have trained and inspired tens and thousands of people in many countries and I know you guys are gonna love hearing their story. Hi Jennifer, welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing with us tonight. I just love always hearing your story. I know we're also looking forward to you and all that you're going to share with us. So let's start at the very beginning. What made you say yes all those years ago? Oh gosh, I know. And it was such a long time ago. Um, okay. Here's what happened. First of all, thank you so much. I'm really honored to be here. <clears throat> thank you for, for asking me to share. It's always just a joy to be able to share our story and hopefully inspire other people along this journey as well. So when Sean and I were introduced to this company, we were just 23 and 24 years old, which was a long time ago. And we had both graduated from the University of Kansas with business degrees. And uh, we backpacked around the world for a year together because my husband loves adventures. So uh, we came back from that. We were broke, penniless, um, you know, had a little bit of debt from that trip and getting ready to, you know, find our real jobs. And <laughs> what happened was I was waitressing, waiting, you know, for Sean to find his real job. And maybe we were going to move, right, to do that. And um, what happened was somebody introduced us to this, this company and he was super skeptical, so negative. He, he literally thought this was a scam. And I remember sitting on the couch. Well, it was our little teeny tiny apartment and on our borrowed couch, cause we couldn't even afford to buy furniture and him saying, I cannot believe you're going to do this. And I just thought, you know what? I, I saw a way that I could maybe just make, an extra two or three hundred dollars a month. Really, that's all I was looking for. So I decided to do it anyway. And I'm so, so grateful that I did because what happened was very quickly, we really both realized what we had a hold of. We realized that this was a great company with great leadership. Um, we were falling in love with the community of people around us, you know, life changing products that were really making a difference. And he looked at me one day then and he saw the big picture of like building a team. And he said, wow, what if we treated this like a business? Maybe we wouldn't have to go out and get jobs. <laughs> and that's what happened. Um, and really initially it was him. I was, I was at the mindset like, okay, I'm retailing. I'm making a little extra money selling the product. That's, that's about all I could wrap my head around. He's the one that saw the team building piece. And so he dove in and um, went to the top of the company in about a year and a half. Um, and our top position is called National Marketing Director. I got there about a year and a half later. And at that position, you know what? We, we were pinching ourselves. I mean, we were still in our 20s making an incredible income that I literally, neither of us could believe. And we had full benefits because at that position, you get full benefits, you know, medical, dental, uh, life insurance, a disability, prescription, medicine. There's um, a tuition program for anybody in your family that's going to school. You know, so we're in our 20s with all of this. And so he was ready for um, a new adventure. And so we bought a, a sailboat and um, sailed from the Virgin Islands to Florida, off the coast of Miami, and lived on our sailboat for a year and had an absolute blast. And, you know, you talk about that work hard, play hard mentality, and that really is, is what it's about. We worked really hard to be able to do that. And we were still even working while we were on our boat. And I'd love to share that because, you know what, with this, you get to work where you want, when you want, do, or, do as much or as little as you want, 
you know, with the people that you want, you, you're your own boss. I like to say you're the CEO of your own thing here. And um, so we, we did that, had an absolute just great time. And after about a year decided, okay, it's probably time to get back on land. And I remember the day that we literally were sitting on our boat with a big map of the United States, you know, for the millennials that are on here. Yes, we, we used to use maps, right? <laughs> And by the way, we were millennials doing this before millennial was a word, right? Um, but, but had a lot of that same mindset of travel and freedom and flexibility and all of that, you know, through our 20s. It was just great. So we looked at the map and, and it's like, where do we want to go? We, there's no territories with this. We can do this wherever we want. And so we literally just picked Denver because um, we like to ski. We love the outdoor lifestyle. Uh, we flew out, checked it out, loved it. Um, and this is where we put our roots down, is in Denver. And now, um, you know what, we've got a couple of kids. <laughs> As a matter of fact, our daughter just graduated from the University of Kansas also. And she just got her big girl job out in California. She's a, a manager for Amazon. And let me tell you, she is getting quite the opposite contrast <laughs> from what she grew up in, right? I mean, right. as a matter of fact, she doesn't get to come home for Thanksgiving or for Christmas. Um, and she's working very, very hard with the boss and you know, pretty, very tight, tight structure. So um, it's, it is quite a co contrast. And then our son is at Colorado University, CU Boulder. And I think really when I think about this journey, my favorite thing has to be that I got to be the mom that I wanted to be. And, you know, nothing could replace that. I, you know, was here when our kids got off the school bus. I got to be the mom participating in school, you know, the Friday folder mom and the art masterpiece mom and, you know, going on field trips mom, all of that. We've traveled all over the country um, with sports which has been a blast. And so many times, you know, we get the questions from parents like, what do you guys do? Like, how is it that you guys get to be at everything? <laughs> Both of you, right? Because we got to travel together and experience that together. And um, I, it's just the most important thing for me is that I got to have this incredible rock star business while I'm wrapping it around our family's values and what's important to us. And, you know, I will tell you that this, this takes personal growth. When we started, you know what, I'm shy, I'm an introvert, okay? When Sean would make me get in front of the room and just say my name, I would get mad. And it takes a lot to get me mad. I don't, I don't get mad easily. I could not stand it. And, those, those were things that, that I had to work through, you know, or I wanted to, I chose to work through. It's not like you have to be a public speaker to do this, but I knew it would help my growth. I knew that I needed to stretch myself in different areas. And it's one of the things that I love about what we do is that personal growth journey. And so it was really, as my kids were young and I was around other moms, and that's really when I started launching this for me. You know, before I felt like I was more Sean's backup. And, and then it's like, I really got the ownership of what this business is and, and what it could be for me. And for all these other mommies that I'm around that are looking for ways to keep their, you know, kids healthy and ways to bring income into the household. It was a really, really big deal. So um, I, I share that because that, that personal growth journey, it just, it weaves all through um, my story and, and what we've been able to do. So um, we've traveled the world as a family. We've, we've been just so many places. Uh, as a matter of fact, when our kids were eight and 10 years old, Sean was ready for another adventure and we bought a 50 foot catamaran and we sailed from the Virgin Islands to Australia over 15 months and homeschooled our kids for that year. And, you know, I look back at that and pinch myself and go, wow, did we really do that? Yes, we did. Um, and again, just life-changing things that we got to do with our family. And it's not that I think most people would be interested in doing that, 
but I love to get people dreaming. It's like, what, what would you like to do? What memories would you like to make, you know, with your family? What would an extra, you know, I said yes to a tiny two to $300 a month income. Like we just needed to make a couple hundred dollars a month was a big deal for us. You know, and maybe that's the situation that, that you're in, or maybe you need to bridge a $500 gap or, or thousands, or maybe you're somebody that's looking for a new career. You know, all of that is available here. And I love for people to start dreaming again. I think so many people have lost their dreams. And, um, and you can dream here because you can create what it is that you want. And I just value that so, so much. So, you know, when I think back at this, this whole thing, it's like, wow, creating the lifestyle, so important. Being the, that mom that I wanted to be, you know, with my kids. And yet at the same time, we've been making a difference all these years. It's like every day that I wake up and I know that every moment that I spend in my business, I'm literally changing people's lives. We're changing people's lives with this product. I mean, absolutely. I mean, we have tens of thousands of customers on our team and there's so many stories of, of that. And you know what, I really believe and I know what I know what, that I know that we're changing future generations with this product. And we're equally making such a difference for people financially as well. And you know, I, I always think it's pretty tough to be really healthy when you have a huge financial burden on you. So I feel just as strongly about helping people and empowering people um, to bring extra income into the household, you know, to be able to bridge those financial stresses. And we're doing that, you know, every day, all day long. It's so, it's so awesome what we do. Um, so that's, that's really, that's the, the short version of a literally almost 30 year journey today. And um, I just, I can't say enough about this company and who we work with. It's so, so exciting. I remember when you and Sean, I remember when you got that catamaran and remember, I remember that. I remember hearing that um, because my, the, the family that I mar had married into, the Sears family, we love to sail as well. And I remember that and I'm thinking, wow, that would just be so cool to have the catamaran and to do homeschooling on a boat and just think of all the lessons that your children learned along the way. And you really were designing your own life and changing lives you know, in, as well at the same time. And, really? the, and I love that we can work anywhere. So if you're in the middle of the Pacific Ocean <laughs> or the Caribbean Ocean. Um, thank you so much. That was so great. I just love, love, love your story. I am curious though, so we have a couple minutes. Um, do you have a few success tips that you could share with us tonight? You know what, I do, uh, of course I do. And you know what, Diane, I forgot. I actually put together some pictures. I don't know, sometimes a, a picture is worth a thousand words, right? Yes. And I thought I might just buzz through really yes. quickly. Um, just Love to just, see that. just give an idea of what this looks like, because I think sometimes it's hard to wrap wrap your head around it all. Um, this is actually our apartment when we first got started with Juice Plus up there in that little corner, um, which was hilarious. Like the floor was slanted <laughs> and <laughs> you had to hang on to the dinner table because we were on, our chairs were on rollers and you'd kind of start sliding um, down towards the wall. <laughs> if you didn't. This is just a, a quick picture of when we were on our 50 foot catamaran with our kids a little back then. Um, again, just, you know, we, we went through the Panama Canal and just had the biggest adventures um, on our way to Australia. And um, this was a little bit later with Michaela's club volleyball team. Uh, we were able to meet the team in Puerto Rico with our boat and our captain and just had an absolute blast. And part of what is so great about what we do is giving back, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, this is our home today. I absolutely love it. I love where we live. And I wanted to just buzz through you know, we talk about freedom and flexibility and the fact that you can do this anywhere. And especially with technology today, I mean, if you've got one of these, you can do this business all over the world. 
Um, so in January, just for instance, Jan, and this isn't everything, but we, we had a sailing trip in January. It had an absolute blast. This really is my husband's happiest place. He loves to sail. And we came back from that. And, you know, I love to treat my dad to KU basketball tickets because he's a, he's a Jayhawker too. There's, there's three generations of us right there. That's awesome. Stopped in Florida for a couple of weeks. Um, this was on a rooftop doing a little business meeting up there. This is what our work looks like, right? Um, you know, it's like, again, we were there for, in Florida for a couple weeks playing, but we, we had some meetings around as well and uh, wrote that, that trip off, right? We were doing business too. And then popped over into Australia and again, doing some work, salad in a jar party up here and, and hiking with some of our, our reps. And then from there, I popped out to California to see Michaela to help her get set up with her, um, her living, her apartment, had a great ski trip in Aspen, which was a blast. Popped down to St. Louis to see uh, Michaela's last volleyball nationals. You know, she was on the club team at KU and I loved, loved going and seeing her play there as well. And then went straight to the conference. Uh, this one was in Phoenix. And I'll tell you what, one of the greatest things is having your your people up on stage training you know in front of thousands of people winning awards it's just it's the best is when your people are up on stage um after the conference we popped over to sedona had you know great time over there oh and remember when i said that we backpacked around the world for a year well we didn't get to graduate we didn't get to walk the hill at ku for graduation oh my goodness we were gone and Michaela graduated from the business school and asked us to walk down the hill with her. I mean, this was just a highlight moment. So much fun. And you know what? I, I can proudly say that our kids, you know what? We were strict. They saw us work hard, right? They saw us do all of this. And we are all like best friends today. And I think that is pretty powerful. <laughs> so, so much fun. And then, um, our son is really into music and plays the guitar. And so this is a picture of Johnny Van Zant, who's the lead singer for Leonard Skinner. Popped down for a little concert down there. We went sailing in Greece um, before Michaela had to start working because it's like, when is the next time we're going to get to do that? So we, we sailed the Greek islands. It's been on our bucket list for a while. Um, I lost my mom a little over a year ago. And so I asked my dad, you know, let's take a trip. Where would you like to go? And he's never seen the Statue of Liberty. So we, we did that together and, and Jake came with us. And one of the other things, Diane, is just for us, giving back is really, really important. And this business has, has afforded us the ability to give time, talent, and treasure. And um, that is a big thing for us. We we're very involved with um, an inner city mentoring program here in Denver that's replicating across the country now. It's called Colorado Uplift. And, you know, we were hosting the leadership group at our house, um, which was a blast. And then we turned that into a lake day. So we were giving these kids boat rides and we, you know, rented kayaks and paddle boards and everything. They just had an absolute blast. Um, an experience that they have never done any of those things before. And so, you know, when we talk about Juice Plus and, and what this does, it's not all about, you know, you and your family, but it's what we're doing beyond that in, in stretching into our schools and into our communities. And there really is a ripple effect here that is huge. So um, that I just wanted to share that as well, because it inspires me every day that we get to live this, this life, this lifestyle. Yeah. I'm so glad you shared those pictures. Those just goes to, you know, you have designed your, your life, but you have worked hard for it. And I love how you're giving back and just, oh, it's just, it, thank you so much for sharing those pictures. I love that one of the very beginning in this small apartment. That's oh, great. What a, what a shift, right? <laughs> and again, you know, it is, it's the work hard, play hard. You get to take this with you um, as you do life. You know, we're traveling more than ever now because we're empty nesters. Um, but we're still working, you know, but we're playing all around that. So, you know, you asked me for a tip, um, really gut what you get, what you can grab hold of here and feel strongly about it. Mm -hmm. I think that is hugely important too, is just come from a position of strength. It's like when you, I, I always say that I'm bulletproof, 
nobody can nick me. I know too much. I know too much about the product. I know too much about the research, 38 gold standard studies, right? You know, I've learned from the smartest people on the planet, I think, um, in terms of nutrition and wellness and what this product is doing and the lives that it's changing. And I'm also bulletproof around the business. It's not for everyone, but wow, if people have an entrepreneurial bone in their body and they're just willing to share with some people, um, you can change your life and anybody can do this, right? You, it probably will take a little personal growth. Like I think we all come in and experience a little bit of personal growth, but to me, that's fun. It keeps it interesting. It keeps us sharp. We use the the latest technology, the latest apps, the latest everything, you know, thinking about it, the stats now are that for college students, they can expect after they graduate, they're, they're, they can expect 10, 12 different job changes in their career, which I just go, ugh, like that to me, I don't want any part of that. And it's funny to think about, well, maybe for them, they might think, oh, 30 years with the same company, ugh, right? They, they might not like that idea. But here's the thing, that's what creates the stability. <clears throat> it's what creates the compounding effect of when you focus and you dig in and you stick with something long enough, you get that compounding effect. And um, we, we have gotten to experience that in this very safe place um, and it just keeps building and building and it creates that residual income that gives you the freedom today. And it is not boring. <laughs> it's always changing. We're always growing. We're always growing that mindset. And to me, what we bring to the world is so needed today. The world needs people who are living in their values. The world needs people who are having that ripple effect that are transforming people's lives. And that's what we're doing. So that would be my tip. That's awesome. I love what you said. We have a rock star business wrapped around our family's values. <laughs> I love it. Okay, well, thank you so much, Jennifer. That was awesome. We so appreciate you being, being willing to take time to share your story, your tips, your wisdom with us tonight. And to everyone who joined us, thank you so much for investing your time this evening. I know that you have all been blessed and inspired by Jennifer's story. So I encourage you to talk with the person who invited you tonight to learn more about Juice Plus and our mission of inspiring healthier living in our communities and around the world. So we'd like to, I'd also like to um, extend an invitation to, to you to join us again. These webinars go live on the first, second, and the third Mondays of, every, of the month and all the way until December uh, 17th. So our next webinar will be next Monday, November 12th. Same time, same uh, webinar ID. So please feel free to invite a friend. So again, thank you so much, Jennifer, and thank you all for joining us. I wish you all a good evening. Good night. Thank you. Good night, Diane. Thank you.